What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Well, happy Friday to everybody, and we have some interesting news to say the least. Um, yeah, we heard yesterday that Daniel Snyder um, had hired private investigators to basically dig up dirt on other owners. Dan Snyder, who has been um, definitely, the NFL has definitely not liked a lot of things that have been going on in the Washington Commanders operation and things and probably would love if Dan Snyder just went away and Dan Snyder is not going to go away quietly in the night. Jerry Jones was asked about um, Dan Snyder having dirt on him. This is what Jerry Jones said. I don't have anything to say about it other than I don't know where people got the supposed resources from me, Jones said Friday on the fan. Anything in that was news to me. If anybody wants to put something in my car or listen on the phone, get in line. Um, through private investigators and his own dealings with Jones, Snyder has reportedly built a file on the Cowboys owner he could use if the NFL attempts him to force and sell the commanders. Snyder is arguably one of the most rivaled uh, uh, owners in NFL professional sports, both within the NFL and among fans. All the owners hate Dan Snyder, a veteran owner told ESPNs. Jones is perhaps the most influential owner with one agent calling him the league's shadow commissioner over the summer. He and a small group of owners, which include Robert Kraft, Art Rooney, John Mara, and uh, Clark Hunt, are known to wield significant power behind the scenes with Commissioner Roger Goodell and others. The relationship between Snyder and Jones is frayed amid the fallout of the investigation into sexual improprieties in the com commander's operation and uh, allegations of financial improperties by Snyder. Snyder has already lost Jerry, a source said to ESPN. So, Snyder is Sherman marching to the sea, scorched earth. So, here's... This is a case. Um, this is just being reported right here, but I'm seeing that filed. This is filed on 124 uh, 2022. Um, and this is being reported by Cowboys Nation. Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboys Football Club, and um, the National Football League are plaintiffs in the district court, 160 judicial uh, district in Dallas County, Texas. Okay, to the Honorable District Court Judge comes plaintiff, uh, now plaintiff J.G. and files her third amended original petition complaining of defendants Jerry Jones at Dallas Cowboy Football Club and National Football League and would show the court the following. Defendants initially knowledgeably and recklessly assaulted plaintiff by making contact with plaintiff and causing plaintiff injury and offense as a result of such contact. These acts of assault are described more specifically in the following paragraphs. On or about September 16, 2018 at AT&T Stadium in the Tom Landry Room, defendant Jerry Jones um, intentionally, knowingly, and forcibly kissed the plaintiff on the mouth. Defendant Jerry Jones performed this act without the consent of plaintiff. On or about September 16, 2018, uh, defendant Jerry Jones initially and knowingly stuck his tongue in the mouth of the plaintiff. Defendant Jerry Jones performed this act without the plaintiff's consent. On or about September 18, defendant Jerry Jones intentionally, intentionally, knowledgeably, and forcibly groped the plaintiff. Defendant Jerry Jones performed this act without the consent of plaintiff. The contact of defendant Jerry Jones was witnessed by multiple individuals. Plaintiff believes that some of the witnesses were head coach Jason Garrett, running back Zeke Elliott, Tyrone Crawford, Tyron Smith, and several other prominent Cowboy players and family members. Jones' misconduct as known or exercise of reasonable care should have been known by defendants Cowboy in the NFL as Mrs. Above the behavior of Jerry Jones and witnessed by several members of the Dallas Cowboy organization, and yet nothing was done. It also appears that no investigation was performed. Don't know if this has anything to do with Dan Snyder 
and Dan Snyder's investigators. Um, but I'm sure that this is something that Dan Snyder would um, definitely be kind of digging up. Um, um, definitely trying to put other owners in bad light. Basically, kind of, in a way, trying to say, well, look, you want to come after me, then you need to go after all of them, too. So you have to figure that Robert Kraft, after the situation he had down in Florida with the massage parlor, that that'll come up. I'm sure the Raiders, you know, because the Raiders, that, that whole what happens in Vegas may not stay in Vegas and so on. Um, we'll see if there's anything more to this um, as it details come around, but uh, definitely not what you want to have if you're Jerry Jones or the NFL. Um, which is always trying to say above board. All right, good people. Um, not what I thought I was going to be talking about today. I thought that we would be talking more uh, football. Football, you bet. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you soon.